hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i wanted to do this video because i wanted to show you guys just a spiritual working that i'm working on for uh two different people this is a love um can't get it out a love working for two individuals i don't know if you saw my shorts from yesterday but it's it's what i call a strawberry sweet kisses love working for two people, but I wanted to show you guys exactly how things are going so far with this candle because there are some interesting things that I did see with this. Uh, if you are familiar with your candle burnings and stuff, you can read how things are going by just looking at the wax and how the wax is burning down on the candle. And um, I just wanted to give you guys just a quick overview as far as how you can tell how your candle workers workings are doing as far as how you can read the flames as well as how you can read the wax as far as into you know understanding better as far as the process if i keep saying as far one more time as far as the process is going for your um your candle burnings and stuff but as we can see we have two candles they started off tall basically um this one on the left is the male and this one on the right is the female now when i initially started burning this candle the male's flame was really big and the female's flame was smaller but as you can see now the female flame is larger than the male's flame and they're actually both pretty good strong flames as you can see but what i wanted to point out to you guys is the fact that the female's flame is doing a lot of what we call tears coming down the uh, candle and it's been so much tears that are coming down is basically that the uh, tears have kind of connected to the male's candle as you can see the candles are jumping and sparking some which is communication from spirit basically but i'm gonna go ahead and go towards the back side of this candle hopefully you guys can see that i'm trying to do it without looking but if you can see there's just a lot of tears going on with the candle basically the female's candle but the male's candle is pretty much clean as it is burning down as you guys can see and i'm gonna go ahead and circle back around excuse all my junk in the background but uh just to let you know when you do read your um candles you do have to distinguish what is the front what is the back what is the left and the right and this workings this is the front this is the back this is my right side right here where the female is placed and the male is placed on the left side. So basically when you look at your candles and you do happen to see the wax melting or what you call in this form, excuse me, producing tears. Uh, if the tears were to be coming in the front, that would basically be the representation of the physical world, which is like sex, money, um, property, everything basically physical that is going on in the person's life if we were to see the tears in the back of the candle in which we do see it also represents the well not also but it represents the non-physical which is like spirit mental uh, mental thoughts digital and communication as far as that now let's say the tears were to be coming down Oh, excuse me coming down on the right side of the candle and which it is some um, this basically means you know your right side is going to be your future your karma and basically your future destiny as far as what's going on the left side of your candle is the karma as well as the past so like past karma past lifetimes again with the future future karma future lifetimes and basically in the front excuse me i already did say the front i'm sorry but yeah as you can see with this wax there's a lot of tearing going on basically all around the candle besides what is going on in the front so when we look at this it is telling us that basically with all these tears and tears represent emotional release so basically whatever she is going through 
before the workings come to an end, there's going to be a lot of crying going on, basically. And she's basically going to be crying from stuff that's happened in the past, stuff that she's currently going through, and stuff that she may possibly be going through in order for the workings to complete itself and finish everything that's going on. As you can see, just even during this video, the um, males, the males, um, flame has gotten stronger than the female flame so it's just to like a quick synopsis on basically how you can read your candles if you do notice that there's a lot of I call it not necessarily sweating but I mean it does look actually like tears like a lot of tearing is going on in the candle as you can see it looks like tears basically it's just that that will let you know that okay basically you know, this person may be going through a lot or even, even if it's your candle, you should be able to read and interpret as far as, okay, I might have to, you know, shed a few tears before my workings come into fruition. But basically with the tearings, it's, it's still positive in a sense because at the end, the end result is a positive result. You just have to go through a little bit of difficulties oops sorry you have to go through a little bit of difficulties in order to reach your uh, final outcome but I hope that this video was a little bit informative for you guys in case you guys are big on reading your candles and wondering why it is sweating or why it's melting the way that it's melting this is just a short video as far as if your candle is uh, melting with tears basically but uh, again, I thank you guys for returning to my channel and if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comment section and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.